Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to put any image inside any shape, whether that's a shape that you find in Photoshop, one that you create yourself, or one that you've even downloaded. All of them will work. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use a heart PNG that I downloaded. So to move it over to my main image, I just click on it and drag it over and then drag it back and then let go. And then it's gonna pop in here. You can see that it's a much smaller, like lower resolution than my actual image. So to make it bigger, I'm gonna go Control T and that allows me to transform it, to resize it to the size that I want. Plus it allows me to rotate to match it up better with the birds. When you have the size and positioning that you want, just click check up here and it'll set it. If you want to use one of Photoshop's shapes, they can be found over here. Just right click and you'll see a bunch of options. You can also select custom shape, which brings up a little drop down up here and has a lot of different options. So let's say a gorilla. And then all you have to do is click and drag it out and that shape will appear. And then you can change the fill color and stroke and what have you up here. Now, if you want more control over your shape, then I would use the pen tool. Just know that if you've never used it before, there is a learning curve to figuring out how it works. Next, let's go over to our background and unlock it. Make sure you're on that layer and go Control J. Then drag that copy layer above your shape. And then all you have to do is right click, not on the thumbnail, on the word here, on the copy, and go to Create Clipping Mask. Now, you won't see anything right away because we haven't click this eyeball to get rid of the background yet. But once you do that, you can see that your image is right in the shape. And the reason why that is, is because there's this little arrow here. So that's a clipping mask and it's saying clip into or fit into just whatever is here, whatever shape is here, but ignore everything else. There are a few things to be aware of with a clipping mask. Like if you go to your move tool and you try and move the image, you can now replace it in the shape. You're going to move the image, not the shape. So you can kind of maneuver it to fit it where you want it. You can also go control T and resize as well if you need to. And if you need to move both of them together, then click on one of the layers and then hold control, click on the other one. So click on the image and then hold control and click on the shape. Then I would put them in a folder. So put them in a group. And then now that they're together there, if you go control T, you can now move them together wherever you want and resize them, rotate them, whatever you want together. But if you didn't use a PNG where the background was missing already or a shape that you have created yourself, then you might have a situation where you have a shape but it still has the background or you have a shape that you don't wanna fill in all of it, you just wanna fill in part of it. So I'll quickly show you how to do those as well. So I'm gonna go over to the image, I'm gonna right click and go create clipping mask. And you can see that that fills in even all these little hearts as well. But I don't want that. I wanna just fill in the main part of the heart here. So what I have to do is click on that image and then go up to my magic wand over here, click on the part that I want and it'll select it. Then go control J and you can see it'll make a duplicate of that part then when I go over here and right click and create clipping mask, it'll only clip to the part of the image that I duplicated and not the entire thing, which includes this heart border. The other type of image that you might wanna use is one that might have a white background. So in that case, if we look here and I put the clipping mask on here, it'll just clip to the whole box of the whole image. So we have to clear out the white. To do that, we're just gonna use the magic wand tool again, click on it and then click on the white, then just hit backspace or delete and you will get rid of it. Now, all you have left is the shape that you want. And when we now go and put the clipping mask on, it'll just clip into the part that's left, not the entire image. So at this point, you just have to make a decision on what your final output is gonna be. So if you actually want this, to now be a new PNG. So when you export it, the background is actually gone. Then you just go up to File, go to Save As, and change this to PNG. Then obviously rename it as Birds Heart or whatever you're gonna name it, and click Save. When PNG Format Options comes up, just click OK. And now if we actually go to open that up, 
it'll look like this bird's heart and you can see that it's its own piece now the other option would be to obviously put in a background so let's go over here to this plus add a new layer you can add a solid color by going edit fill and then going down here to color and then picking whatever color you want and clicking OK. Or you can go over to the gradient over here is another common option. And when you click on this, you can select by clicking here and clicking here. You can pick the color that's going to be on one side of your gradient. And the other boxes here will have different colors that you can pick. Or you can use one of the presets that's up here. Click OK. And all you have to do is click and drag it out and that gradient will go between these two colors. The further you drag it, the smoother the transition is, the shorter you drag it, the more harsh it is. And there's different shapes to pick from. So this is a radial one. This is kind of the most common one is going from one side to the other. So if I just went short here, it'd be a sharp line. If I went far, it'd be a more gradual gradient. And then finally, if you want that kind of offset outline that I had of the shape in my thumbnail, just click on your shape go control J to duplicate it, then click on the bottom one of the two, leave the top one alone, then just go control T to be able to transform, rotate it, and get it into place like you want it. Click check, then you just have to right click, go up to blending options, and color overlay if you want to change what the color is of that kind of offset drop shadow outline of the shape. Okay, and that's it. That is how you put an image inside a shape in Photoshop.